What's up gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to say hi in the comments below. Um, and if you end up liking what you hear or see, then you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming readings. I do them weekly. Uh, a lot of them are focused mostly on Libra, but there's some other stuff thrown in there as well. So, uh, and if you do end up subscribing, I thank you in advance. If you are not new, as always, welcome back, my friend. Um, we're gonna have a look at what is coming up um, this week around the energy between you and your person mostly your thoughts around the situation and your person's thoughts around the situation so libra i'll have you up here and i'll have your person down here whoever it might be no matter what sign it is this is just a collective energy as a whole whatever is resonating and around the libra collective right now so we'll see what comes out as always though keep in mind that just because you are a libra and you're watching this video it does not mean that what comes out for your feelings or thoughts about the situation or your person's will resonate with you and your situation. It's not guaranteed just because you are a Libra. So remember that please and keep in mind um, that it could be any sort of energy, okay? So take what does resonate, leave the rest, don't try and force it, and life will be all good. All right, I'm gonna use two decks as well. And if this does not resonate and you have not yet seen my other Libra general that I put out last night, feel free to check that out. Something there might resonate for you instead. Okay. All right, Spirit. Um, please bring through clear and accurate messages for the Libra Collective. Libras that are involved in a love situation right now, we are looking at what are Libra's thoughts about their situation? What are Libra's thoughts about their situation with this person, please? What are Libra's thoughts about their situation with this person? Okay. That came out in the other Libra general, so you may want to check that out if you haven't already. What else? What are Libra's thoughts about this situation with their person? Spirit, what are this person's thoughts about the situation with this Libra? What else? What are this person's thoughts about this situation with Libra? One card. What are your thoughts about this situation with Libra? That wanted to come out earlier, okay. Uh, what is, let's get two mutual energies actually. What's the mutual energy between uh, Libra and this person this week? King of Wands. That also wanted to come out in the other reading. You may wanna check that out. Spirit, what is the mutual energy between Libra and this person this week? One card, please.
Wow. Guys, I can't make that up. Look at that. King of Wands. Another deck. King of Wands. Another deck. I should have just stuck with the one mutual energy. <laughs> That's not... That is for sure the mutual energy. Spirit's like, hi, I already told you. Ace of Cups at the bottom. All right, let me put these away. Okay. So, Libra, your thoughts about your situation here this week. Four of Wands, Two of Coins, Page of Wands, The Hangman. Their thoughts, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, and The World. Okay. Your person, I feel, is... I think they're trying to remain at a distance at the moment. I think they potentially, when they think about this situation, they are possibly thinking about how some things need to end if this is, you know, if this is going to move forward. Right? I don't mean ending the relationship or situation, although obviously that could be in some cases, but what I'm getting more so is that this person kind of wants to just close a chapter out in this situation. There's a need for that there. I also feel for some of you, this person is I think intending to be very strategic around this situation and very quiet, very quiet. If in other cases, I feel like this person might feel as though Mm, okay, my guides are saying that in some cases, this person is feeling as though they're fooling themselves about this situation. Like if it's a situation where both of you are hoping it'll get better or this person is hoping it'll get better, in some cases, some of them feel like they are kidding themselves. But they've been, they, I feel like they've been keeping themselves at a distance, like I said. Um, you, you are either currently in a relationship with this person or you want to be. But even you, you're showing up with the hangman over here. Which would tell me, just like the four of swords, that there is a, a pause at the moment. A break, a timeout, right? A moment of rest okay also for you I think that some of you are trying to see oh okay my guides just said some of you are trying to see things from the other person's point of view for whatever your situation is specifically some of you are trying to put yourself in their shoes to understand where they're coming from better And some of you are also hoping to hear from this person and have it be an upbeat, happy sort of interaction rather than maybe, like I said, it seems like there's been a little bit of silence between the both of you. And I'm telling you, this, this person has pulled back a little bit. So you, Libra, are are feeling like one you do want to hear from them you do want communication going but two you want to kind of bypass anything negative for example right say you stop talking to somebody for a little bit obviously this is what's going on here this is what i'm getting here and then you talk again after a while and maybe you're nervous about how the conversation is going to go or maybe you're worried about you know are they going to bring up something negative are they going to say something that you're afraid of hearing right about the situation relationship whatever it might be maybe you have imprinted some you know anxious thoughts in your mind 
about the fact that they've been kind of silent and distant. So now hearing from them, you're thinking they're gonna tell you something bad. So that's what I mean. You are hoping that one, you do hear from them. There is more communication coming in that you would like. And two, that it's upbeat and positive and not, you know, not the, the opposite, of course. So there's a few things here with this King of Wands as a mutual energy, okay? Because King of Wands comes through for me a lot of times when it's something physical and sexual, and that could very well be. I mean, you could both be thinking of each other, even at a distance, right? Just thinking of those types of things. But I'm not getting that as much as the need to take action here. There's, first of all, isn't that wild that they both came out? It's, it blows my mind when that happens. It happens quite often. Um, and it still freaks me out. But I'm getting it more so as a need for action, like I said, this desire for action. Okay, my guides just said, what? Okay, my guides just said move forward with the plan. Oh, I guess that makes sense because it looks like he's he looks like he's got this whole plan set up here and he's like ready to go into battle. That's not what I want to hear though. Ready to go into battle. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Okay. Um, move forward with the plan. It's not a battle. It's not anything like that, but it's... Okay. It's a, my guides just threw me to this card. It's an uphill battle. It's not an actual, we're going to fight like argue nonstop. It's just a tedious, strenuous uphill battle in this connection and situation. But to move forward and, and like take the action to move forward, stop stalling, stop sitting back and, you know, being at this silent distance and everything else, start making moves to climb that hill is basically what they're saying. That makes more sense now. I was like, oh boy. Um, so yeah, I think it's more of that rather than like the physical sexual aspect of it. I think that, I think there's a need for both of you to be more fired up about this connection. Yeah, this is also what I'm getting. I, I feel like there is a, a very strong need here for for you guys to be more inspired and more more amped up about making or should, not making this work but just moving this situation forward. I feel like when people have been at a pause for too long, they lose their fire. They lose that that hope, that excitement, right? Even that passion for each other. There's been a pause here for too long. And that's not saying that it can't come back, that passion and everything else, because I think it's there. But there is a need here to kind of get off your asses, basically, and take it more seriously. I know that sounds ridiculous maybe to some of you, but that's what's coming through here. Some of you are gonna know exactly what that means and you're gonna feel that um, and you'll understand it. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting with that. Let's see what else. Let's see. Spirit. Um, Spirit, what, uh, da, 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 da. what are this person's intentions with Libra? What are this person's intentions with Libra? Five of Swords. Tell me more. What are this person's intentions with Libra? Knight of Wands. And more. Interesting. Okay. Wow. And then we got six of cups at the bottom. Well, I think they want to see you. I definitely think that they want to see you. Um, 
We have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Not bad cards. Uh, the only thing is that for them, this person wants to kind of not have all of this anxiety weighing on them. And I think it definitely has to do with the situation. They would like, or should I say they're intending, they want the fire, they want the romance with you. Those are their intentions. It is what they desire here. But is that going to happen here? Um, spirit. What is this person's next action towards Libra? What action will this person take next towards Libra? One card. Come on. Beautiful. Ace of Cups. They know that something needs to change. They know. They're aware of this. You are as well, Libra. Okay? You definitely are. They want to, the, at least their next action, is going to be to try and open their heart more to this situation. We do have the Knight of Cups there as their intentions. We do have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> oh, wow, that's crazy. And then we also have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. They want, <laughs> they want the passion and the romance. They want both things here. Now, why aren't they getting it? Why aren't they getting it? Spirit, what is the obstacle in this situation with Libra and this person? The hermit. Well, obviously. Tell me more. Seven. Okay. All right. This person's been waiting on something here with you. This person has been... This is why there's been a distance for some of you. This is why... Solitude is... T it's taking too long. The situation is taking too long. Something that they have been waiting for to happen between the both of you is going so slow that they are really, really conflicting or conflicted in their mind and stressed the hell out. This is why, this is why at the beginning of the reading, it was coming through that I feel like some of them feel like they're kidding themselves. Like this is ever going to happen. This is someone, someone needs to change here. Okay. If that's you, Libra, if you need to change something or do something, whatever that might be, they're, they've been waiting forever for that to happen. And that's why this Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands isn't happening for some of you. That's what's going on here. Okay. Let's see. Spirit. Um, where is this connection? Okay. Let's say that Libra... And if this is you, Libra, in some cases, you'll know exactly what it is if this resonates. So, Spirit, if Libra does whatever change this is, if Libra makes that change, where is this connection headed then? Temperance. Tell me more. That's a good sign. One card, please. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Libra. I don't know what it is that you need to change or do or follow up on or follow through on, but this person that apparently wants romance and passion with you, 
or in this situation that feels like they've been waiting forever and it's just for whatever this thing is and it's taking so long that they're basically feeling like they're fooling themselves this situation can be all of your wishes fulfilled if you follow through with whatever that is this came up a few months ago this energy some of you did not do what you were supposed to do because this is a specific specific energy and it's coming up again months later and i feel like it's reminding me of that again that there was something going on for you libra where you made a promise that you would change something you said you would do something this could be anything and it's you still didn't fully do it so what but but here's the thing libra it's frustrating because if that is the case my guides are saying that you can have a beautiful balance here wish fulfillment here of which is clearly not at the moment happening but it's in the oh man i hate to say it libra but the ball is in your court here the ball is in your court you can have wish fulfillment in this connection with this person everything that you have ever wanted if you just do what you said you would do whatever that is interesting okay let me end it with hold on let me end it with uh which one do i want moonology or okay my guides are saying this one okay yeah all right i don't normally do this kind of, i just i'm doing like different sorts of readings lately deal with it <laughs> I just like to do, you know, sometimes I do extended, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I look at feelings, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I pull out these cards. All right. Spirit, uh, last bit of advice for Libra about this situation. What do you want Libra to know about this situation? Advice or guidance for Libra? Advice or guidance for Libra about this situation? I'm going to go with this one. I wouldn't normally <sighs> keep it or leave it. Okay. Put it away. I just heard. All right. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Let's see what this says. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Jesus. All right. We're just going to confirm everything I just said. I love it. Um, additional meanings for this card your dream can come true there we go just said that um, keep moving forwards right here this says it right here you guys it says it right here um, the situation is full of potential more effort is yet required are you willing to give it wow my god review your goals and ensure you're still committed <laughs> this is nuts I, oh man, I should be used to this by now. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I will ever be used to it. How? Somebody tell me. Somebody tried to tell me in the comments once <laughs> recently that they thought that I handpick each card prior <laughs> and that I really hold the card in my with my thumb and as I'm shuffling, I knock it out. So that way it's always exactly accurate to the other cards. I'm like, what, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Like, what is wrong with you? No, no, you guys see how I shuffle. This is why it blows my mind every time. <sighs> Attunement to the moon. I know I'm headed in the right direction. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. Oh man, this card is a very positive omen indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe that you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can actually make the courageous commitment, 
courageous commitment is also king of wands to take more practical steps toward your goals what did i say before make a plan follow the plan move forward with the plan yes this mm -hmm. whichever you decide you are most certainly on the right track oh man the bottom of this says this is a very empowered and empowering time and this is a very promising card it suggests that now is the time to make plans and to act on them no matter when you actually pull the card uh, again <laughs> if you think that i pull these cards you see how i do it i don't sit here and go oh, oh i know it has this little mark right there so i'm gonna take it you never ever see me pull cards ever you can never ever say that i that i do this on this listen the people that are not crazy no okay <laughs> so all right libra you know the deal here this is it this was cool i started off a little confusing for me but this was i know exactly what's going on all right if this resonated with you feel free to let me know in the comments because this is a specific energy and uh I'm curious to see if there is a change that you have to make, Libra, or that a uh, promise that you made or something, what that was, what that was. You don't have to tell me though, but either way. All right, um, as always, please be well, stay safe and take care, bye.